damn autofocus. There we go. Do you want this tip of the iceberg slide? Which, by the way, was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free? Then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash SlideCow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. Recently, I made a front cover video that focused on minimalist design and if you want to watch that video, please click on the info tab on the top right. This front cover idea though is a bit different. I was inspired to make this from another YouTuber. The channel's name is PowerPoint Pro and I'll link the video in the YouTube description below. SlideCow's version of this though is a lot easier to follow and a lot easier to actually do. Don't be intimidated by what you're looking at. This is actually extremely easy to make. Let me show you how. Step 1. Get, edit and place the pictures. Alright, so the first thing I need you guys to do is to give me three blank slides. So I'm just going to duplicate this, delete all the content on it. That's one, that's two, that's three. Now what I need you guys to do is find a high resolution stock photo of, well preferably of, a skyline. And the way I did this was I went to, what do you know, visualhunt.com. Now you know that I'm a huge advocate for visualhunt.com. Uh, I have no business transactions whatsoever with this website, but I truly, truly, truly uh, love the service that these guys do. And there's a lot of them out there, but I specifically prefer visualhunt.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Skyline uh, and press on enter and uh, you get all these awesome pictures that you can use. Um, just make sure though that your picture is going to be a commercial use photo, you know, to avoid any copyright claims or whatever. And uh, I seriously can't find the picture that I used previously. Oh yes, I can. It's right over there. But let's use a different one just so that you know you can show how, you know, the design principles can apply to any photo. So I'm going to be using this one. This one looks nice. And you're just going to have to download that file. Um, be sure that it's a large file. Don't make it super large, but I'm just going to go with an 2XL file, uh, 3200 by 2133. And I'm going to be downloading that file. While that's downloading, the second picture you're going to look for, the second picture you're going to look for is a hand holding a smartphone. And I actually went to PNG pics.com for this for one reason you need a hand holding a phone with the transparency component within it so if you look at the picture right in front of you those gray and white boxes in the background symbolize that that's transparency so when you drag and drop it into your slide it'll be transparent as well and in order to find the perfect hand holding phone picture for your slide it's just to simply go to google and type in smartphone hand PNG and then go to images. Now PNG actually stands for portable network graphics. Okay. This file in particular will allow you to have a transparency component to your pictures. Let me show you exactly what I mean. If I was to download this file right now and if I was to go into my PowerPoint uh, presentation and I just drag that image into my PowerPoint presentation, it's already transparent. It's 100% transparent. And I'll prove that to you by just putting in a shape and sending it to back. Look, you see what I mean? It's 100% transparent already because it's a PNG file. It has no other sort of components stuck to that picture and it can be transparent. So yeah, go to Google and search for that uh, file extension, which is the... Um, smartphone hand png png is the file extension um a word of warning please be sure that all the images you're using for your slide are uh you know allowed for commercial use over here for example we have that this license is free for personal educational non-commercial usage so now that we have the pictures we need we can make the necessary edits go back to your powerpoint slides and i'm going to delete this and now what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop the stock image that you downloaded earlier from Visual Hunt onto your PowerPoint slide. Now, 
I understand that the image over here does not take over the entire canvas. We can fix that. Don't stretch it out like this. Do not do that. Just please don't do that. It makes the image pixelated and it makes it look really, really bad. What you want to do is you want to move this image all the way to the left, like so, and just blow it up like this while maintaining the aspect ratio. You just hold shift and just blow it up like this, okay? Move it up, just a, just a tad, just something like this, right? And then go to crop and just crop it into the white canvas like I'm doing over here. So you see the white canvas is over there and the dark gray area is just the gray part of the, uh, let's say, of, of what you're looking at. So this is what you're supposed to be doing, just cropping it right into the canvas and perfect. Now you know that this image over here is taking over your entire slide while maintaining excellent quality. So you're going to copy this image and you're going to paste it into your other slide over here. In your first image, what I need you guys to do is click on this, go to format, go to color, and then over here, you're gonna see saturation go to zero. Click that. We want to make the image black and white. We want to do that, okay? But the second image, just don't touch it. Now go to your third slide and just drag and drop the hand-holding smartphone PNG image. And this way you get to see all three of your images in different slides over here. At least this is the way I sort of process my, my visuals. So what you want to do now is actually quite easy. You want to take the colored, I repeat, the colored image, copy that, go to the black and white image that you had earlier and just paste it and just move the colored image right on top of it. Something that looks like this. All right. Now, the second thing I need you guys to do is to take the phone image, copy that, move it all the way here, paste, and just move that phone image anywhere you'd like. I'd like to move it over, let's say, I don't know, let's just say I like it over here. And I'm going to just bring the size down a bit like this because I want to focus on that little skyscraper over there or tower or building or whatever you want to call it. It's fine. Perfect. Now comes the fun part. Click on the colored image, click on format, click on crop and crop that image into the phone. That's how cool it is. Look at this. So when you do that, like I'm about to show you right now, just click on crop. It will appear as if everything in the phone is colored and everything in the background is black and white, making a really, really cool artistic effect. And that was really easy to do as well, right? And that is step one done. You can now delete the other two slides as you wish. Step two, add the color block. All right, this step is actually quite easy to do. Go to insert, go to shapes, and then click on the rectangle. Just make a rectangle that looks like this. Make sure in terms of width, it covers the entire slide and some, all right? And that's because we're gonna rotate it later. Keep clicking on send backward until it's behind your picture and behind your phone. So it's something like this, all right? Pick the color that you would want for the slide. I'm gonna go with this blue color over here and make sure it doesn't have any outline. Now, here comes the fun part with the coloring. Go to shape fill and then go to gradient and then click on this option right here, linear right. And what that basically means is the lighter component of your color will be on the right and the dark component of your color will be on the left. So click on that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna right click and you wanna click on format shape. In the fill section over here, you're gonna have three gradient stops, right? But what we want, what we're concerned with is this part over here, the transparency section. We wanna only set something easy, like a 20% transparency. And you wanna do that for every single stop. What that does is it automatically allows us to see through that little rectangle that we created and we can actually see the skyline. So it gives another artistic effect. Now, when you're happy with that, just rotate the rectangle any way you'd like. So I'm gonna rotate it like this, for example, and I'm gonna make sure it's covering everything. Yep, that looks absolutely perfect. I like that a lot. And that's the second step done. Step three, add the text and icons. Okay, so before adding anything, anything to our slide, just take note of the rotation. Right click on the shape that you made, click on 
size and position over here and just take note of this figure over here. For me, it's 347. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it on my slide and just move it over, well not the image, just the text box over here so I don't forget. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to insert, I'm gonna go to text box, I'm just gonna type in uh, the title of the deck or the presentation as well as the name associated to it. So for me, I'm gonna type in something very cliche, which is the art of technology and it's done by a guy called John Smith who happens to have a PhD. Um, I'm going to set the font size to 40. I'm also going to change the font and I'm gonna set the color to white. One thing I would recommend is when you're um, putting in the name, make sure it's a smaller font size or a lower font size or whatever you wanna uh, call it than the title itself. So for the title here is 40, I'm gonna set this to 32. That looks fantastic. Okay, um, as I said before, the rotation over here was 347. So right click on the text box, go to size and position, go to rotation and type in the exact same number, which is 347. This way it's easier, a lot easier actually, to sort of position your text box any way you'd like. So I'm going to position it like this. So you make sure it's not too much of a slant or too little of a slant. So if you go like this or like this, and you have to find edit it and so on. So it's perfect. Um, I'm actually gonna reduce the size of our banner thing here. And I'm going to bring that down a bit over here. I think this looks perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add the icon and the line over here. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually just bring in the line. So I'm gonna go to insert, I'm gonna go to shapes, I'm going to make the line like so. Hold shift when making your line, and bring it down. Change the color to white, click on shape outline, weight, and click on six points. And then same thing, same thing. Right click on it, go to size and position, and make the rotation 347. When you're done with that, just bring it next to the text like so. Perfect, I like that. I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger by holding shift and pressing the up key. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to bring in my icon. So to save time, I'm going to bring in the icon that I had over here. However, I understand not all of you have the icon button as shown over here. I also understand that a lot of you don't know how to bring in customizable icons into your PowerPoint slides. Don't worry, SlideCow has made a video about icons and how to bring them in. They're completely editable, by the way. Um, just take advantage of that. I'm going to link it in the top right uh, corner in the info tab. Just give it a watch and I guarantee you're gonna be happy with the results. But just to save time, I'm just gonna be using this icon over here. Bring it over here. Make sure the rotation is set to the same as all of them. So size and position. Oh, close actually. Seven, bring that over here and I think that looks perfect so I'm just gonna bring that up a bit perfect 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 look at that look how easy that was to make as well so easy to make don't even tell me that wasn't easy to make guys we've done it we have done it again and we are always gonna do it again so guys I actually have a special request Aside from actually liking the video, commenting on it, sharing and subscribing to the channel, I'd love if you guys went to Facebook and liked the SlideCow Facebook page. I'd love for you guys to do that. I'd also love for you guys to please, 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 please go to the SlideCow website and sign up to the mailing list. It would mean a lot to us. We put in a lot of work to make SlideCow the platform for PowerPoint tutorials. We truly, truly, truly appreciate it if you guys gave us that support. I'll see you guys in the next one. It'll be a fun one, I promise you that. Please be safe, goodbye.